Good Sunday evening, everyone. November 23rd, 2014. Uh, I knew the title to this video would get your attention. I didn't know any other way to get enough people to listen to what uh, I'm about to tell each and every one of you. Doomsday Rock asteroid to, to hit Earth September 2015. Now, that is an actual video uh on youtube and let me uh show you where that is at i just want you to know that uh, i'm not being dishonest i didn't sell out my channel i didn't distort any information or distort the truth so let me show you this video and then i'll continue on now this is an actual video out on youtube came out uh, this month asteroid will hit earth in near future 2015 doomsday rock it's a full documentary now once again i needed a title that would draw the masses in from youtube to to hear the message that i have so i want to make sure that uh, i am clear with all of you uh on a few things now i could sell out my channel and uh, stretch the truth and uh, distort the truth uh, a little bit and report on gloom and doom cataclysmic end time events death and destruction you could find out but uh maybe i took some news headlines and i kind of manipulated them a little bit and was dishonest with all of you but as long as i kept pumping on my youtube channel gloom and doom and giant asteroids and uh, meteorites and, and uh, mega earthquakes and i promoted this fear gloom and doom the church today it's like an epidemic on youtube it's like a youtube addiction they don't want anything that's smooth they want gloom and doom you would overlook the fact even though you knew i was being dishonest and i manipulated uh, various news topics and uh, news headlines as long as i kept pumping out the gloom and doom you don't overlook my dishonesty now if i were to just start uh, giving prophecies warnings from the lord on my channel even though these prophecies never really come to pass that would all be overlooked as long as I kept pumping out a warning, an end time warning, word from the Lord, a prophecy. My subscription rate would go through the ceiling, would explode. I would get thousands of views on my videos on gloom and doom and cataclysmic end time events, even though I was dishonest with you. And even if my prophecies never come to pass. As long as I kept having a word and a warning from the Lord, you'd overlook all of my faults and you would keep coming to my channel. I would get new subscribers. I would be thousands and thousands more subscribers and thousands and thousands of more view counts. But I did not sell out. I needed to get your attention so I could make one thing perfectly clear with everyone. There is a video on youtube about um this doomsday rock and asteroid that hit the earth in september of 2015. so i wasn't being untruthful i needed a way to get your undivided attention for a moment i posted this on my facebook wall this morning but i need to make sure enough people see this now just let's see how many people view this video if i would uh title this video a message anti-message to the church i would be lucky maybe 80 people would view this but with doomsday rock asteroid to hit earth 2015 let's see how many views this gets even if you might be mad at me but again i did not sell out and i never will but i need you to hear this this is what i posted on my facebook wall this morning just so we're clear and we have a clear understanding in case you're wondering, I thought I would make this perfectly clear with everyone. Don't take my kindness for me being mindless. Don't take my weakness as a sign of, or don't take my meekness as a sign of weakness. Don't take my 
meekness as a sign of weakness. We are commanded to love one another and to forgive. However, this does not mean we are to turn a blind eye to those who are working and walking in darkness, bringing false information intentionally, false prophecy, false teachings, unfamiliar spirits to the church. Love the sinner, pray for them, but hate the sin. And above all, expose it. Now I could sell out my channel and I could be giving warnings. I had a word from the Lord, a prophecy and a prophetic warning. And even though they didn't come to pass, it wouldn't be overlooked as long as I kept putting out prophecies. And I could just, all my channel could be about is gloom and doom, death, cataclysmic end time, destruction, giant waves, tsunamis, earthquakes. As long as I promoted that fear, you would overlook me stretching the truth. Being dishonest with you, it would all be overlooked. And I would be the most popular kid on the block. But I wouldn't be selling myself out. I'd be selling out Jesus Christ. So once again, just so we're perfectly clear, in case you're wondering, I thought I would make this clear. Don't take my kindness as a sign of me being mindless. Don't take my meekness as a sign of weakness. We are commanded to love one another and to forgive. However, this does not mean we are to turn a blind eye to those who are working and walking in darkness, bringing false information intentionally, false prophecy, false teachings, unfamiliar spirits into the church. Love the sinner, pray for them, but hate the sin, and expose it. God bless you all. I'll see you tomorrow. You're so clear. I'll see you all tomorrow on YouTube.